And good morning everyone, welcome to a beautiful winter wonderland in Austria and also welcome to what is probably going to be my biggest ever or longest ever video. Basically I'm on a road trip with the best of the Alps who I joined in a previous year, yeah, one year ago when the Audi Q8 was launched they collaborate with Audi so we are now on a best of the Alps and Audi road trip. The hint is in the name we're exploring the best of the Alps. This year we're going through Austria and Switzerland. So this video is going to be a little bit different than normal. Probably my longest ever video, a kind of movie, mega vlog, a winter road trip movie, if you will. And hopefully this video will also give you some motivation to go outside in the winter and just do something exciting, do a road trip, go and have fun in whatever car you're driving, in the snow, go snowboarding. Yeah, whatever you like, but just get out there in the winter and have as much fun as possible, which is what this week is about. So sit yourselves down, make yourselves a nice cup of tea, pour yourselves a glass of wine if you're old enough and enjoy today's video hopefully because now I need to start off the video with taking all of the snow off the R6. So let's clean the snow off the car and get going. Get this done to start off today's first day, the winter road trip. There should be a brush in here somewhere, yeah. Audi branded brush. So let's get this started. Should be relatively easy. Careful not to scratch the car as well. Do you need to take care? Something very, very satisfying about this. Off we go in the R6. Ah, oh, it's so good to be back in the R6. Well, I think we can all agree this car is probably one of the coolest cars you can drive in the snow in the winter. As you maybe saw as well, got the roof box on top, got the snowboard in there. We are set for an epic winter road trip. Gonna stick it in. RS1 mode, put it in manual and then you can <laughs> then you can have a little bit of fun. Does it get much better <laughs> than this? What a car. Oh no! Oh that was a mistake just when I was having fun. Covered in snow. What an idiot. I've ended up in what is just a ridiculously, ridiculously cool location in the middle of nowhere. As you can see, this road actually closes during the winter and you can only get here by, I think, snowmobile and some kind of snow tractor thing. And at the end is this restaurant where I ate the best fondue I've ever eaten in my life last night. It's called Guest House This. What a crazy location, driving up here through the forest in the R6. What a epic start to my winter road trip with Audi and Best of the Alps. But they are actually closed. Luckily, they just invited me and said I can come in for a coffee. So let's go inside and take a quick coffee because it would be rude not to. Have a seat, sir. Oh, thank you so kind. You. Yeah, it's perfect. An espresso. Espresso would be amazing. They're actually closed, but very kind people letting me jump in for a coffee, warm up for a few minutes before we head back to the hotel. And then I think we're going snowboarding. So yeah, pretty good day planned. 
What's your YouTube channel? My YouTube channel? It is Cars, Cars with Luke. Comes up fast, you know. Uh, this one. Oh. Right. Okay. Yeah. Would you like to have some sugar? No, thanks. Is that okay for you, I'm sir? I'm sweet enough. Yeah, I, I see. <laughs> nice little cars espresso. Yeah, Cars with Luke, yeah. Oh, look at that. He's just subscribed. I'm subscribed. subscribed. Well, Thanks, you yeah, did, did it. Thank you. Of course I did it. Now it changes everything. <laughs> <laughs> That's good coffee. Thank you. And for, uh, you're welcome, sir. Ooh. Second R6 has just arrived. <laughs> that is a brave... That is a brave truck driver. I would not want to drive that up that narrow road. Und da wollte damals der Adolf Hitler wollte durch Wittler steuern, wollte einen Tunnel bauen. Wirklich? Ja, ja. Und das ist Hat leider nicht mehr geschafft. Nicht mehr geschafft. Switching to the GoPro Cam. I've never actually filmed on this. Audio is probably terrible. This is a quick introduction. We're obviously on a ski lift going snowboarding. Snow is coming down very, very nicely. And uh, yeah, not been snowboarding for two years, but ready. Are we ready to smash it? Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah that, that wasn't so confident. <laughs> we're, we're pretty ready. <laughs> Day two, off to get some shots this morning. Crazy weather going on and quite some wind at the moment. Got loads of snow here. We're struggling to get through. Jack's gonna give it a go. Go for it, Jack. I've managed to plow quite this bit here. super deep it's all been windswept <coughs> down here but we're gonna get through it the rs6 is a snow plow i believe in the rs6 oh it is cold i'm not dressed for the occasion yes Woo! <laughs> Woo that's what i'm talking about that's how to start a morning i'm awake now we didn't sleep much last night, but now I'm awake. <laughs> yeah. High five. <laughs> I had nowhere to jump. You would have run me over, so I had to just jump, <laughs> jump into the snow. There was, it's either cliff or jump in the snow. So I went for the, no, I went for the snow option. You smashed it, Jack. Nice one. Uh, white wine glasses anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Don't you just love that sound? So fast forwarding to the evening, dinner time up in a beautiful restaurant in the Austrian Alps. And myself and Jack spent the whole day taking pictures. We're quite pressured with time and against the weather. Uh, this is a local outfit, by the way, they often wear in restaurants. Looks quite cool, I think. 
And we ended up just drinking quite a lot of wine that night, uh, white and then two red and back and forth. This is the best of the Alps team. These guys are just legends. They work so hard and it's just so, so friendly. They really made the trip. The conversation was not the best all night because, well, we are bloggers and most of the people just uh, sitting on the phone. So yeah, I also carried on drinking. And this was the name of the uh, restaurant that we went to. I can really highly recommend it. It was just incredible food and location. That is Nina, always up for a laugh with me. And uh, yeah, we took the lift back down to our hotel after what was just a really, really long day. Brilliant day, but uh, yeah, really, really long and enjoying a nice log fire at the end. We were supposed to be editing all the pictures from the day, but in the end, I just kind of sat around watching and listening to this fire, to be honest, before enjoying a seriously good night's sleep. life of a car vlogger <laughs> yeah I am the real um, behind the scenes yeah this is real life this is life in the Alps <laughs> day three how to de-ice a car <laughs> <laughs> it's all go this morning cold again very cold hands cold feet cold feet are wet but I like the Alps this is how I start my morning now Myself and Jack head off for another day shooting the R6, but this time the weather was with us. We spent pretty much the entire day taking pictures and we were much happier with the results. It was really fun also together, just pushing ourselves to the max to see what we could produce. Here are some of my favorite shots. This one in particular was very popular on the gram. I really like this one of myself and I don't say that often. Jack took that one, so thank you, Jack. And apparently this is a classic Cars with Luke shot, so I've been told. We then head off to eat a typical Austrian lunch, which turned out to be the heaviest thing that I've ever eaten this thing was incredible but i could have slept for at least two days after eating this currently lost up in the alps somewhere again trying to find the best photo locations at the moment this trip has definitely been a bit more about photos than filming but doing my best to film as much as i can and see what i can put together at the end but anyway it is now four o'clock and in austria four o'clock only means one thing and that is apres ski and apparently here in San Anton they have the best apres ski in Europe so I don't know about you guys but I say we go check it out I've had one of them. Welcome to Austria. <laughs> Apparently, this is 
Posture in that race, please. Posture is not normal. So that was uh, Austrian apri skiing, and as I found out, apparently it is known as the best apri ski place worldwide. What's the name of it again? Moseviet. Mose. This is Nina, by the way. I didn't introduce you to the channel properly. I'm out of breath. <laughs> Little bit hectic filming there, but it's just hilarious. And I've already told Nina I'm coming back to do it properly, to get the full experience when I'm not uh, filming and driving. Waking up nice and early the next morning, which is something you don't always want to do after an evening at Apriski. However, it was a beautiful morning. I jumped in the RS6 with Nina and we set off for Davos, where we arrived and drove straight up the Fluella Pass, which was luckily still open. And we spent the entire day trying to get the best rolling shots possible on the Fluella Pass, which means hanging out of a car like this and getting extremely cold. But it was, again, a lot of fun. To finish off the day, we then went on a horse and carriage ride to our final restaurant of the trip, which definitely was a funny experience. It's a good angle, right? Oh, it's beautiful, mate. I hope the last roll. After going from 600 to 2 horsepower, we finally made it to the restaurant where we enjoyed fondue for the final time, which we had now had three times during the week. I love cheese, but after this week, I needed a break from cheese. So congratulations if you have made it to the end of this video. And thank you so much for watching. I do really appreciate every single one of you. I love the Alps and this trip really highlighted some of my favorite parts about them. And I'm super excited to see where I'm gonna be heading next on the Cars Luke channel during 2020. But thanks again for watching and for me, it is ciao for now.